Barry, what a difference a year makes. 12 months ago, you didn't make it through the last 80. Jamie Clark beat you 6-0. Here you are, a top seed and a proven ranking event winner. Wow. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been as usual, a bit of an up and down journey. So just happy to feel that I'm sort of progressing, maybe bit by bit. You know, I've won a tournament now, great. Uh, obviously seeded for this event, great. Just keep pushing bit by bit, that's all I'm trying to do, keep progressing. And what does it mean to you to have had a guaranteed passage through to the Crucible? Because similarly to Rob Milkins, who's also been here before multiple times, but never as a seed, he said it meant a great deal to him to walk up to the front entrance, see his face on a billboard and think, I've really earned this this year, I am in the top 16. Same for you? Yeah, I think, I think similar to them comments really, that it's more just about, oh, it's nice to have sort of the media day like today, have the photos, have that sort of memory of doing these kinds of things, having your face up on the side of the building and stuff. The other stuff about actually being seeded and what that means, not really bothered about. It's still the first round, it's still another match, the same as any other year. So yeah, it's just, just as I say, it's a case of I've progressed to this point, but it doesn't really mean that much in, the, in the terms of progressing in the tournament. In terms of your form, of course, the Scottish Open title was just before Christmas. Quarters at the Players, semi-finals at the Classic, so that was a good time to get back to the last four just ahead of coming here to Sheffield. Yeah, it was quite, it was quite necessary, really, to get to the last four, pretty much. I mean, the final would have been a game changer. That would have pushed us right in the 16, and it would have meant I would have been at the Tour Championships as well, but it wasn't to be. But, yeah, just to get to the semis, even though, was a good result a timely result really for coming towards this tournament now. And speaking of semis, um, a great run to the last four a few years ago. You know, this, there, are, there are many fabulous snooker players who never get to experience the fabled single table setup. You can draw on that confidence because you know you can go deep in this event. Yeah, obviously I'm, I'm confident in the fact that pretty much, well yeah, each time I've played here I've felt comfortable, I've played decent. Um, so I'm expecting the same again, really. I don't see any reason why I can't perform. Yeah, so it, it, it's been a good place for me so far, and I'd like that to carry on this year. And what do you make of how this season has unfolded? Because we've had a lot of perhaps unexpected winners, and those who normally get to the business end of events haven't been in them. You know, Neil Robertson came into this season as the reigning players' champ and tour champ, and wasn't in either event. Yeah. So. Do you think this year's World Championship is wide open? I don't think it's ever wide open, really, in terms of, you know, somebody's missing or somebody hasn't done much. I don't think it matters. There's been seasons gone by where players may not have won a tournament or done well for quite a while and then they'll come and win. So I don't think it really means anything in this day and age. All the, all the players in this tournament are very, very good, capable players. And it's more about maybe that little bit of experience, whether they've played here before, if they're a qualifier or anything like that. And in terms of the seeds, generally, it, it's just about if they turn up and play well. If they don't play well this next couple of weeks, then you're not going to do very much. If you do play well and you have a run going, anything can happen.